Hello and welcome to another episode of the Highway Ghost. Today I'm in Savannah, Georgia, here at the Oglethorpe Mall at Grayface's pop-up store. It's going to be here through Halloween 2023, so I wanted to kind of give them a little shout out. So if people are in the area, then come out to the mall and check out his other store. And he also has an awesome museum down on the River Street area on Factors Walk. A record store in town as well as television movies and arcade there there's actually an arcade here as well so this is going to be a fun one so this is his pop-up location here in Savannah Georgia so let's go let's go check it out on goth day of all days okay here at the Grayface pop-up at Oglethorpe Mall he's got records and, and over here is the arcade. I did a separate video for that, so you have to check that out. But he has oddities, everything from animal skulls, alligator heads, shark jaws. And recently, he's got some John Wayne Gacy art-themed tiki mugs, which are super cool, by the way. The Kulu. <laughs> Cthulhu. Chia Pet, that's funny. These are really cool. I just purchased one of these today. I actually got the Misfits pack. A lot of horror stuff. For all the horror fans out there, you can find some really cool stuff. And he has um, some really neat little, little, it's almost like childish toys that are themed around monsters. A lot of creature from Black Lagoon stuff. He's a big fan of that, just like I am. You can get like little finger bats and I've actually bought one of these little finger possums. Really funny little toys, gag gifts, but check this out. This is the pop-up possum. There's a trash can, you squeeze it and pew, here he is. Pew. Funny stuff. And over here he's got like a whole line of clothes. Alright, keep Savannah creepy shirt. This is very cool. Yeah, this is the pack of Halloween decorations that I purchased today. Very cool, huge fan of the Misfits. But yeah, his line of clothes is neat. This is like the original skull design. I have one of the original buttons that Ryan made back in the day. There's all kinds of cool stuff. Keep Savannah creepy, got that shirt as well. A little bit of Mark of the Beast shirt there. Some really cool art. I love that shirt. It's got the Crimson Ghost, like the old Misfits, Evil Live album cover that says Grave Face. If you're a fan of Pee Wee Herman like I am, you can find some Pee Wee collectibles. These are all original vintage. And he does sell a lot of vintage stuff too, so any collectors that's looking for stuff, if he don't got it, he can get it. Wow. I remember this. Big Top Pee Wee, where he had the circus guys come to stay with him. Wow, a lot of Halloween masks. They live. Check that out. Beetlejuice stuff. Got any Beetlejuice fans out there looking for stuff? Got some cool toys. Just about anything imaginable. Over here we got more of the classic stuff like Universal Studios monsters. These are like the cool Barbie dolls. And then back in the day, you know, they had like these lunch boxes and they got banned, but in recent years they started bringing them back. So he actually carries some of the spookier ones, the Munsters and Creature from the Black Lagoon and stuff like that. Hopefully they'll have a Halloween event. Up here we got some Return of the Living Dead, looks like. We got the Crimson Ghost. 
Michael Mars. Get some horror movie posters. Anybody looking to decorate their house with some cool stuff? Classic horror. Just about everything possible. Wow, Todd Browning Shrieks. One of the coolest. Love that. Nice. Some tarot cards for me that's into tarot cards or the occult. Some more monsters up top. Mars attacks. Leatherface, gotta love that. Toby Hooper classic. And there's more in the back. Scott. <laughs> Lucio Flucci zombie puzzle. That's a good one right there. Pieces, Cannibal Holocaust, another twisted classic, Maniac, The Overlook, Carpet. Wow, from The Shining, Creep Show. Here's some more of the lunch boxes I was telling you about. All kinds of toys, by the way. Looks like uh, killer clowns from outer space, maybe. Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. Reagan from The Exorcist. All you horror fans out there, you're gonna really want to come here. You're gonna find stuff that you'll have to take home. Here is some um, DVDs. Actually, over at TerraVision, I was talking to one of the employees there, and they actually rent VHS copies of these old horror films. So I thought that was super cool. There's nowhere possible out there besides there that you can rent a videotape. Now, this is... Um, the line of clothing, they have a, a goth shop right next door. I think it's called Not Never Goth. That is located next to TerraVision, but this is some of the clothes. Let me just check real quick with her. The store next to TerraVision is not never goth, right? It's never not goth. Never not goth, okay. Yeah, that's really cool. Here's some more of the Gilman stuff. Now these cassette tapes that you see here that have the covers from the old classic horror movies from back in the 80s and 70s, they're actually um, done by TerraVision, which Ryan Grayface puts these soundtracks out for movies that never got a soundtrack that was sort of official. Or the music from the films that needs to be brought back. Pretty sure that's what that is, because... Now, he's also got Tiki Lounge stuff, so if you're into Tiki Lounges, you can take one of these mugs back to your Tiki Hut. 
and he's getting ready to release a devil head like the entrance to his museum and if you want to see a full tour of the museum I suggest that you go there it's very cool it's in Savannah Georgia Grayface Museum but for the folks that are watching that you know can't make it or maybe overseas or whatever I have the video from my first visit to Grayface Museum here on the Highway Ghost channel in my oddities and roadside attractions playlist as well as all of the other stuff that this amazing creative friend of mine has brought to the old city of Savannah Georgia thank you Ryan Grayface and Chloe and all the staff at all the locations you guys are awesome Now that is cool. Happy golf day, people. <laughs> Skinny puppy. Nice. They even have like um, candles here. These are cool. see some more of the albums over here he has vinyl of the same albums that I showed you that was the soundtracks that he came out with in honor of the movies that we loved growing up back in the day children shouldn't play with dead things children should play with dead things Wow neon maniacs Oh my gosh, people under the stairs. That's another classic. Jeez. This is too cool. Splatter. University. Remember the Spookies? That was cool. That was a neat too. I know he has one of the gate. Which is super cool. Unsolved Mysteries. I love that show. Video violence. Nice. I just purchased this Crimson Ghost mask, so I'm going to be wearing that at an expo coming up, so stay tuned for that video. Very, very cool stuff. Thanks for stopping in. Keep Savannah creepy. Well, thank you so much for letting me tour this amazing store and a special thanks to Ron and Chloe Grayface, a couple of buddies of mine. And this store is only only going to run through Halloween, correct? Yeah, so our last day might be Halloween. It might be November 1st. We'll see. So 2023, guys, if you want to come down, check them out. They're at the, is it Oglethorpe or Oglethorpe? Oglethorpe. Oglethorpe Mall in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, right next to the food court. Right yeah. Next to Macy's. Cool. Well, thank you so much, and you have a great time, and happy early Halloween, and stay tuned for more Strange Travels.